in this video what I have for all of us are going to be five fragrances that I've been wearing and the five that I'm going to be replacing them with. So a total of 10 fragrances. The five fragrances that I want to share with you that I've been wearing have been five of the best received fragrances that I've ever worn. I'm saying they have garnered me positive attention every single time that I've worn them. And the five that I'm going to be replacing them with are five that I predict will do the same exact thing. If that sounds interesting to you, do not forget to give me a thumbs up and possibly a subscribe down below. But on that note, let's get into it. The first fragrance that I'm going to be replacing once it gets to be a bit warmer is going to be one of my gourmand favorites. It's one that is warm, inviting, intoxicating, but it's definitely going to be one that's going to be meant for the cold weather, not one that's going to be meant for the warmer weather. I mean, you can wear it in the warmer weather, but I would not suggest it. It is very sweet, very boozy, very warming. It's chocolatey. It's rummy. It is insomnia. Now, I don't mean insomnia like it's going to be lacking in sleep when you do wear this, but this is hands down one of the best fragrances that I wore this past winter. It's so, 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 so nice. It's similar to some other things that are on the market, and I'll have the notes for it up right here, or over here, or both. But as you'll see, even with the juice, it's very dark, it's very rich, and with that density comes a certain amount of projection, performance, longevity. It was a beast mode, sweet, warming gourmand for me to wear this past winter. But I've decided to set this one aside for something that I think will fitted shoes in a way for the warmer weather. Now what is replacing it is gonna be also a heavy hitter, but a heavy hitter for the warmer weather. It has its certain facets to it that make it a bit, you know, have a bit of a kick to it, but it's definitely, definitely fresher aspects to it that make it a very, very alluring for the warmer weather months. You have your sweet citruses sitting on top of your masculine musk scent. With that guys, what I'm gonna be replacing insomnia with is gonna be a Ventus cologne. Now, some may say that this is going to be much more of a summer fragrance, but for me personally, I think right now is going to be the perfect time to wear something like this. And the projection, the performance, the scent, everything with this for right now is going to be great A. And I'll have the notes up right here so you guys can see the note right on this thing. This is an absolute gem, guys, if you don't already have it. Like I said, it's like a Ventus, but like much more for the warmer weather. And today would have been absolutely perfect for it. In fact, it was. This is about the end of the day, layered with one other thing, but I digress. This, this did fantastic today. It was roughly around 70, 72 degrees today. This was perfect. Now the next fragrance I have here was also a pretty dense scent, but dense in a different way, different than Insomnia. It's rich in the scent characters, it's rich in the scent profile. The scent is so intoxicating and just, this is a perfect fragrance to me. Perfect for the cooler weather months. It has this honey, it's tobacco, it's tonka bean. With that guys, what I had was Zerjoff Naxos. Now, if you've been here for a while, you're well aware this is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. It's also one that I've worn in the warm weather. It's one that I've worn in the summer, but this year I've decided I'm gonna set this one aside and give someone else a chance. The scent that I'm gonna be replacing this with is also gonna be a banger of a scent. It is on par in the sense of it being a perfect style scent. But there are different nuances to it that make it just a bit more appealing for the warmer weather. While still having some characteristics to it that are okay for the cooler weather months, there's something about this that just screams warm weather to me. Guys, that scent is going to be Saharov Signature Royale. Like I said, it's so rich in depth in terms of what it is. It is a sweet, masculine, somewhat powdery fragrance here. Now this is a sweet, masculine scent that I feel like is perfectly done. You will be very hard pressed to find anyone say anything negative about this scent because there's nothing negative to say about it. It projects, it lasts a long time, and it's not overly priced. This can be found for around the $100 range. This is a fragrance that, like Zerjoff, could cost a lot of money. But for this scent profile, it is a very affordable option. For just how much character this scent has and how much it develops, this is on par in terms of the projection and longevity that the Zerjoff has. So I saw it as a suitable replacement for that for the warmer weather months. And I'll have the notes up here so you guys can get a quick briefing of how this scent is. But like I said, think sweet, masculine, and long-lasting. Now the next fragrance has been one of my favorite office scents to wear, but it has been a bit dense on some warmer weather days. It is the definition of a soapy fragrance to wear to work. Guys, that scent is Prada Loam. So yes, this is a fantastic scent, but it is a bit dense. The scent profile of this is a bit thick, where I can see that causing some issues when it gets to be a bit warmer. So what I have to replace this, guys, is gonna be a fragrance that I feel like does the soapiness, that scent profile, a lot better. It's better in the way that it is just more mass appealing, it's easier to wear, it's not as dense, aka it's just better for the office setting. The office and warm weather setting. With that guys, you get the Christian Dior Dior Homme O for Men. Now this is discontinued, but it is available at Fragrance by last I checked. But I am very, very happy to have this fragrance out 
but I am very happy to have this fragrance in my collection and hopefully the notes are up on the screen now just so you guys can get an idea of how it smells. But if you're familiar with Prada Lomb and how the soapiness to it, it is very similar to that, but a bit lighter, a bit more crisp, and a bit higher quality. Fantastic projection, longevity. It's one of the best performing freshies that I have in my collection. And to me, this one falls more in line with being a freshie than Prada Lomb does just because it's not quite as dense as that is. Now, the next scent on this list is one that I have been wearing when I wanted something that was warming and sweet, but not overly sweet. Basically, my Easy Reach. It's been basically one of my Easy Reach fragrances, one that I can just throw on and know it's gonna smell great. But it's one that I know that smells really good in the cooler weather. I'm probably gonna give it a shot, when it gets to be a bit uh, warmer just to see how it is. But just this DNA, I don't see really clicking real well with the warm weather. So I found one that has similar characteristics to this, not necessarily scent profile, but similar similar things that kind of you know make me think of this that I think will work better in the warmer weather. Guys, what I'm gonna replace Boss Bottle Intense with is going to be Ozone, which I will have the notes on the screen here. But guys, what this smells like to me is gonna be like an aquatic with tobacco which is very odd, but it works. Very simple, but it, like I said, it just works. It's very rare that I wanna reach for something that isn't aquatic with tobacco, because typically speaking, when I grab something that's aquatic, I want something that's gonna be fresh, like for the entirety of the wearing. But when I throw this on, it's like I have the aquatic with the tobacco, so it gives it a bit more of a rich, a bit more of a rich feeling to it. This is something that when you wear it, it just feels expensive. It just feels like that, you know what I mean? It doesn't have, it doesn't have this shiny Zerzhov cap and stuff. I mean, it's, it's a nice presentation, but it doesn't have that, you know, doesn't have that extra wow factor to it in terms of the presentation. But the scent itself though is very niche, if that makes sense. I know a scent can't be a niche scent. It just has a very niche scent to it, that makes sense. The aquatic tobacco, and for me, it's one that I just really enjoy. Plus, how can you not enjoy this green Hulk style juice? Now this last one I have here that I'm gonna be replacing was one of my favorite pickups from the end of the year last year. It caught me wildly by surprise. I did not expect to enjoy this fragrance as much as I did. It, it didn't catch me off guard by the scent, but it caught me off guard by how much I enjoyed it. It is cashmere and amber, and with that, you're gonna have David's Perfume 01. Like I said, super easy to wear. It's just super versatile. It has been one of my favorite easy reaches, but it is a warming scent. It's one that I feel like when it's already hot, it's not gonna, this is not gonna be one that I wanna spray on. So I thought I'd pick out something that I would throw on in that case. When I want something that's gonna be refreshing, easy to wear, that's to be super simplistic. I decided to go with something that is very similar to a probably the most known fragrance DNA of all time, but it is so fresh, it's so crisp, so inoffensive that it can be worn anywhere. Kind of like how I felt about Davis Perfume 01. Guys, that scent is gonna be Bentley for Men Silver Lake. I tried bringing this to the camera here, but I didn't really focus, so I had the notes up here on the screen. But it's such an easy, simple fragrance. One that I can spray 20 times and still be okay. Yeah, it's just such a nice, aquatic, clean, fresh air kind of scent. The aquatic nature to it, the, the muskiness that's kind of under, like underlying it. It's such a fantastic, clean scent that I will 100% use in place of the Davis Perfume one. Now, before I continue, I want you guys to comment down below what is one fragrance that you have worn all season that you're gonna be replacing. I wanna see if you guys have been wearing what I've been wearing and what you're gonna wear instead. But guys, until next time, keep it gent, and I'll see y'all then.